Rick dropping in on you. Hope everybody is having a great weekend up until this point. Look, I'm not going to be long. I just want to take time to uh, advise you of an upcoming event and invite all men. There's a men only, a black men only uh, event that I am hosting on behalf of the Sunrise Project. It is on uh, April 18th, which is a Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, this is going to be a safe space. This is for all black men, regardless of age, come out and literally have these conversations that we need to have about our mental health, emotional health, about unrealistic expectations, about the stress that we encounter, about the pressures that we face, about the stereotypes that we encounter and have to fight off and have to outlive daily, and so many other things that we really and truly don't have a space. And it's starting to show up in a spike in suicides. It's starting to show up in an, uh, an increased number of psychotic breaks is starting to show up in levels of performance and this is going to be a reality. This is things that I've written on literally for years. These are things that I've shared on, I have introduced studies on and so much more. But this is going to be an informal encounter. Um, it's a no judgment zone. There's nothing that's off limits. Nobody's going to be talking about man up and all these things that we are constantly put in a position to do. I don't have a problem with a man up mentality. What I have a problem with is thinking that just simply manning up is going to produce the best version of yourself. Manning up is about standing up in your responsibility, making sure that you're completely whole and healthy means that there has to be a time where you decompress. No, nothing holds an infinite amount of pressure. Absolutely nothing. It will pop, it will explode, it will burst. And you are no different. So then we have to find a way to deal with the microaggressions that are pretty common um, when it comes to being a black man, the things that we have to deal with in uh, the ongoing gender war with our own women and how we can be catalysts to healing and mending and uh, repairing the breach. But also understanding uh, and acknowledging and being okay with acknowledging our own hurts. All of these things, you know, childhood, uh, adverse childhood experiences don't just simply apply to females. They apply equally to men uh, and young black males that become men. And we need to talk about these things. So they've given me a platform. Won't be any of the uh, beautiful women from the Sunrise Project. These are some beautiful uh, women from beautiful families who, uh, uh, from uh, Kelly Lawson to uh, D. Sap to the rest of the team who uh, trust me with their platform. The Sunrise Project is actually founded by a former client of mine. I worked with her and her son. Uh, her son attempted suicide and she found that there weren't that many outlets for young black males or parents of young black males specifically who were struggling with mental health or addictions. And she found that this several years ago, about four, four, five years ago, and they sought me out as one of their resident experts uh, in the area of trauma specifically. Um, and I've been there since. Uh, since then, they've signed on a, a deal with OWN Network to uh, carry their podcast, and so it's grown. Um, but it's still predominantly been about black uh, mothers showing up. The predominance of the audience are mothers, and so we uh, we've been talking about this for a while. The need to have a space for black men, and so they have literally came to me uh, actually and said, "Hey, we want to do this. Are you up for it?" And I'm like, "Heck yeah!" And and so we are going to do this again. And this is a pilot. So if it is successful, if we can get traction in it, if it shows that it has the capacity to provide some positive influence, this will be an ongoing thing. And it will obviously evolve into the best version of itself over time. But again, I want to stress the importance of black men showing up. So if you are a black man, the link to register will be in the description box. 
uh, if you have a black man in your family, ladies, get this to him because I promise you at some level they're dealing with this. And I've seen it from the most affluent of black men to the, the black men who are at the poverty level. The stressors are there. Uh, the feelings of inadequacy are there. The feelings of overwhelm and pressure from unrealistic expectations are there and so much more so again i want to encourage everybody uh this event is an, i believe an hour hour and a half tops but we're going to get on there we're going to talk about it we're going to open up and what i want to do is i want to create a flow that when it's over it leaves us longing to come back together we need that brotherhood we need to get away from the competitive environment that we have with one another and we need to start looking at ways to connect with one another because that's a part of our brotherhood that literally uh initiates our healing we need to be in an environment where we feel safe amongst one another first and foremost so again come on out uh the information is in the description box i'm excited about it and i want you to be a part of it so i look forward to seeing you guys on the 18th uh which is a thursday at 7 eastern time let's make it happen on that note i'm out of here you guys have an unbelievable remainder of your day